Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and we're going to start this next episode off by putting our landing pad in place. And as you can see, I am not in VR mode. We're going to stay in normal mode for uh, this episode anyway. Just because uh, if you watched the last episode, I was having a little bit of trouble placing my landing pad in VR, and I just don't like to, to build in VR mode in the game. It's just it's too... I mean, for basic stuff, you know, like setting up the storage, it wasn't a big deal for those, but um, it's kind of a pain in the butt if you need any kind of precision or, you know, use the, the build camera and so on and so forth. If the build camera is usable in VR mode, I don't know how to do it. I haven't been able to figure that out. So we're going to do at least this episode in normal mode. And hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And let's get started here. Okay, so there's a couple things actually I want to accomplish in this um, episode. I want to get the landing pad in place, and I think we need to add some more uh, solar panels and or batteries to our power grid because we're not, we don't have enough uh, juice to keep things up and running um, overnight. And uh, probably the, my guess is that when we add the landing pad, that's going to probably, re well, I don't know if that'll require power or not. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But nevertheless, we do need to expand our power grid a little bit more, so we're going to work on that since we're in normal mode. Also, um, right before I started the recording, I went ahead and renamed the base. So now, as you can see, it's called OG's Plateau Base and no longer that Toxiders Baloney that... Uh... Oh, come on! Stupid, superheated rainstorms. We get just about one a day, don't we? Uh, okay, well, we can't stand out here while that's going on. So let's hop uh, on in here. We need to recharge our life support too, so let's do that. I'll use that little gel thing and get rid of it. So we got all of the components that we need uh, for that. You know what we could do while we're going to wait for this storm is we could turn in the processors, because I have more processors. So I think I need to go to transfer. I have to figure out what the controls are in normal mode after being in uh, VR mode. So let's grab these extra processors here. And let's go ahead and turn that next part of the quest into our uh, overseer dude. Whoa. That was weird. So yeah. Okay, here we go. Trust our new Corvax friend was helpful. Oh, I trust. Uh, they are merely the start of our merry band. Are you ready to take the next step? The overseer asked for the microprocessors so they can finish the plans for the weapons terminal. Give them the microprocessors. You have done so well, friend. I am so very happy. I'm glad you're happy. New building part learned. Weapons terminal. We need pugnium and chromatic metal, which we should have plenty of. Blueprint recorded catalog. Now... Imagine this, friend. A life form displeases you. You punish it. Reward it. Reshape it. In time, it would do anything you wanted. So, it is with the Sentinels and their attacks. But no more. Now we shall train the trainers. The Overseer requires me to kill Sentinels and bring back their Pugnium. Okay. The Sentinels have harried me for the length of my journey. We shall be free of their constant harassment. Well, okay. So we already have quite a bit of Pugnium in our inventory just from killing them earlier. So... Uh, okay, so build the weapons terminal. Okay, let's do that next. So we're going to put that in this corner. How do I get into the build menu in normal mode? I think it's X. Yeah, no. It's not X, it's Z. There we go. So let's see, we want tech... Specialist terminals, and we want a weapons terminal. There we go. Boom! It is done. The deed has been done. That's a pretty good looking weapons terminal. Whoa! Whoa! No, get off the ladder. I didn't want to be on the ladder. These guys are going to be cozy in here when it's all said and done, aren't they? Okay, now, here, let's do a save. Okay, we're going to talk to this guy and uh, do the next part of the quest, because it's still raining outside. Do you have it, friend? Their flesh, their pugnium. 
That's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. It's kind of weird. The overseer, in something of a state of excitement, asked me for the pug name I have gathered. Give pug name. Merchant Rufio presents me with a reward, as I knew they would. What'd you give me? Oh, nice. Hazmat gauntlet. Okay. Very cool. So we can harvest um, hazardous stuff. Hazardous. Hazardous. Hazardous stuff with that. I'm not drunk. At least not yet. Promise. Okay, friend, there's another matter. I gave you the means to create a weapons terminal, did I not? Yet I see no Viking in attendance. Well, you didn't tell me I needed a Viking. Does my help mean so little to you that you... Dude, are you like a little emo or something? What the hell? You must recruit an armor before we can proceed. Okay, I'll recruit an armor. All you had to do is say, hey, dude, you got to go recruit an armor. You didn't have to be all, like, pissy about it and stuff. Jeez. Okay. Rufio, you need to chill, man. Splendid. I do enjoy our Viking friends. We shall all live in harmony, I think. Wow. Okay. <laughs> it's like He's, like, jumping on my case for not getting a Viking warrior when he didn't even tell me I needed one. Um, I have to work on my psychic skills, I guess. Okay, let's go ahead and um, come over here. Storm has abated. So, I'm thinking I want to put the landing pad somewhere over around in this area. Kind of where the base computer is. So, let's see. We want to go to to Z okay and we want to go to tech we want to go to general and we want to go to landing pad all right now um, let's get into our camera mode come on get rid of that stupid hazmat thing there go away I don't want to see you anymore what if we stand up top on top of here? Okay, now let's try it. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has like a little like a little porch thing to connect to the building. So what if we held it out this way? Like right there. Why is that an invalid position? There, that'll work. Boom! Look at that. We got ourselves a landing pad, guys. Awesome. Awesome sawsome. I kind of wanted to put it over here, but... I mean, that'll work. That'll work. Okay. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Now, um, let's get our ship, that, which is over the side of the hill here. <laughs> Just like hovering on the edge of the cliff. And um, can we tell it to actually land on the landing pad? Oh, I guess we're going to have to put a door in there, aren't we? Wait, what just happened? Cannot land here. Why not? It's the landing pad, for goodness sakes. You can't land on your own landing pad? All right, whatever. Um, I you see. How do I get out of third person? It's it's here, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay. It's just that the controls are are so different in normal mode as opposed to VR that I get a little confused sometimes. Okay. Um. What's the land key? 
<laughs> it's been a long time since I played in normal mode. Space bar. Okay, whoops. Whoopsie. Space bar. Okay, let's go out this way and then we'll turn around and come back. We'll just ease her on in here. No, space bar is pulse engine, man. It's E. Okay, it's E. Yeah, very good. Thank you. You're right. I rem as soon as you said that, then I remembered that's what it was. There we go. Excellent. Okay. We got our very own landing pad. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Everybody should have their very own landing pad. We need to put a door in here. Let's do that right now. So, let's see. We want to go to structures. We want to go to door. Whoop. Bingo. We got ourselves a door. All right. Yep, it snapped right to the building. It looks it looks really good. Thank you, uh, Pan Panamanium, for letting me know that. If you didn't know this, I play this game in VR. I don't play it in normal mode very often, so that's why, if, if you're wondering why the hell doesn't he know something as basic as that, well, that's why. Um, okay. I just had to switch to normal mode um, to build because uh, it's really hard to build in VR in this game and get, you know, things precise. So that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so the next thing we wanted to do is we wanted to... we got to fix the hole that we made over here that we didn't intend to make, so maybe we'll do that next, and then we need to expand our power grid. So, let's see. We want to get our tool out here, and we want to... Um... Okay, how do I s how do I switch modes in normal mode on the tool? G, right, that's it. Okay. Um, G's not doing anything. All right, what the hell? What the hell, man? Um, control options. Switch weapon, weapon mode is unassigned. Why is it unassigned? Here, let's just reset everything to default. I have no idea why that's unassigned. I don't remember deliberately unassigning that. Oh, wait a minute. Did I... Maybe I... You know what? Now that I think about it, maybe I did reassign that the last time I played in normal mode. Let's just keep it on normal settings, though. Okay, so we want... Uh, manipulator mode and then we want to uh, okay how do we switch oh alt okay there we go and then we want to go to change shape to C so we want to use that okay and let's just try this Can I not use my my build camera in this mode? Hmm. Let's get around here. Ah shit. That's not what I wanted to do. Hey! Cut that out.
There we go. Okay, so we got this little <clears throat> seam here. Let's see if we can fill that in. What I'm planning on doing is putting, you know, biodomes and stuff over in this area, so I don't have to make it like perfect, but I wanted to sort of kind of fill it in a little bit anyway. All right, let's make that one bigger. All right, I think that's probably okay for now. So to go back to normal mode, we go here, right? Yeah. I'll just kind of smooth that out a little bit. Okay, let's just let's just keep it that way for now. I mean, I know there's a little jankiness going on here. Maybe we could skim the top of that off a little bit. Yeah, that's good enough. Because eventually that's going to be covered anyway, so then it won't matter so much. Okay, so I want to... The next thing I want to do is I want to expand my power grid. We need to do that. So that means we need some more batteries and some more uh, solar, solar panel doohickeys. So let's add more flooring here. So structures... Um, we want foundations, right? Structures. Specialist. Foundations. Paving. Cannot build invalid positions. Is it because it's cutting into to that? Okay, let's <clears throat> expand it out here at least. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's this right here that's blocking it. It's too bad you couldn't like clip that it, clip it into it though, you know. Desirable. Alright, let's just go with that for now and we'll see how things go. So now let's see, we want more solar and more battery. I haven't really paid attention to how long it takes before these run out. But they are completely out of power right at the moment. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> I think what I'll do is I'll just add, let's add three more batteries and three more solars, and we'll see how that does. And if it's not enough, then we'll add more later. So we want to go to tech. We want to go to industry and power, power and battery. And we'll try and get these somewhat lined up so they look halfway decent. I was putting those right in the center of the tile. Yeah, okay. Digital movements, man. It's really hard to get right on the money sometimes. Pete's sake. It won't. There. There we go. There we go. That's good. Uh, okay. That's pretty good there. Oh, what are we missing? Magnetized ferrite. Okay. Um. got 50 here do we have any on our freighter 
we do not have any on our freighter. Okay, so we're gonna have to refine some magnetized ferrite then, looks like. Yeah, because it needs 60 per. Okay. What about the... We can build the refiner now. What does that take? Maybe we should build that next so we can make the magnetized ferrite. That's going to be under general. That requires 100 magnetized ferrite. And some die high. Okay, so we're gonna have to use the these guys to make the magnetize. Technology recharge. Technology recharge. Just go ahead and get two batches of that going. <clears throat> okay. So, we're coming along here. We're coming along here. We've got our, got our landing pad in now. That's kind of nice. Nice to have. So, we, we have to... I want to decide now what we're going to start using some of these other rooms for. So we got this room here, since it's the first, well, actually no, in most cases this will be the first room we'll come into because that's where the landing pad is. Excuse me, so I'm thinking maybe we'll set up our refiner in here, or refiners, just so we can pop right into the door and start refining as needed. So I think that's what we'll do. We just have to wait for that uh, magnetized ferret to finish up. Okay, now it also said we needed five, was it five dihydrogens or ten? I can't remember. No, 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 no. General, yes, five, okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put this first refiner right up against this wall here. Hmm. It's snapping right into the center of the room. That's kind of weird. I don't want it to do that, though. I want it to go here. Did I, <laughs> did I put it the wrong direction? I think I did, didn't I? Gosh dang it. Um, okay. If we pick it back up, <clears throat> are we going to get all the, all the resources back from it? Wait, right? Yeah, I think I put that in backwards, didn't I? It's kind of hard to tell. Left control is delete. Yep, we got all the... That is awesome that we get all of our stuff back now. That, they, they must have changed that fairly recently. Even, like, since the last time I played. Alright, so let's get that back in position here. And then we want to rotate it this way. And then once again, we get to do the little dance to try and get this as straight as possible. That's going to be pretty close right there, I think. All right, look at that, guys. We got ourselves a medium refiner. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so now we can refine two things. Now, there, there's one upgrade that I needed, um, that I needed deuterium. 
four. I can't remember what that upgrade is. That's this guy's out of fuel. Is it something that, um, <clears throat> That just needs to be charged. I can't remember what it was now. There was something I was waiting for deuterium for. Hmm. I want to say it was a starship upgrade. I don't know. I can't remember. Honestly, I can't remember what it was. Because both of these are installed. Was it a uh, was it a multi-tool upgrade? Maybe that's what it was. Oh yeah, okay, here it is. The pulse spitter. So we need 200 deuterium to make this thing. So the question now is, how do we make deuterium? I believe it's it needs um, dihydrogen as one of the ingredients. Uh, what's the other? Carbon? Oh, that makes more light. I don't want to do that. Oxygen? That makes salt. <clears throat> Probably not silicate powder. No, that doesn't do anything. If you guys know, go ahead and tell me. I don't, I don't care if you tell me. Paraffinium. Nope, that doesn't do anything. What about condensed carbon? Nope. Cobalt? Nope. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Sodium. Sodium doesn't do anything either. What about... What about uh, sodium nitrate? Nope. Hmm. Is there <clears throat> is there some way that I can find out what the combinations are, or is it one of those things like you know when you're learning alchemy in Skyrim where you just have to do it until you figure it out kind of thing? Did we try magnetized ferrite? No, that doesn't do anything either. How about normal ferrite? Did I? I don't know if I tried normal ferrite. Did I? Nope. Hmm. Not sure then. Magnesium doesn't do anything. What about copper? Nope. Two dihydrogens? Nope. <laughs> I didn't think that would work. What about uranium? Okay, that makes condensed carbon. Not that I want to actually do that, but... Um... Hmm... Alright, I have an idea. I have an idea. <clears throat> what would happen if we put the deuterium that we do have... Where did it go? I think that's on my starship. No, it's not on the starship. I just saw it a second ago. Dihydrogen, dihydrogen. There it is. That doesn't break down. I, I just wanted to see what it would break down down to, but apparently it doesn't break down. Hmm. Oh, there goes the timer. <clears throat> okay, well... Um, we kind of got a little s sidetracked there. But what I'm going to do, guys, is um, we're going to end the episode here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on 
getting the power grid expanded. And then uh, when we come back in the next episode, what we will do at that point is... I'm not actually sure what we're going to do. We'll figure something out, though. Um, probably... I want I want to work on the base quest a little bit more, but at some point we're going to break off from that and you know go and you know start working on like maybe some of the main quests. I want to get kind of back on track with that. I hear pretty soon, so you know maybe that'll that'll be coming up in the next episode or not. Um, but I I just need to figure out how to make this deuterium so I can finish that last upgrade that I wanted to do. It says it comes from processing. Of dihydrogen in refiners. It's what it says. But does it does it require a second ingredient though is a thing? Because when I put this in here, you know, it it wants to do jelly. So it has um wait, do you have to fill both of them up with dihydrogen? I think we tried that already and it didn't work, right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. So I'm going to have to figure that out. So I'll figure that out and, uh, you know, get that done. And like I said, off camera, I'll go ahead and get the uh, power grid upgraded so that we can keep the base, you know, the power on the base uh, through the night. And then when we come back in the next episode, we will, we will probably, like I said, we'll probably keep working because we got to get the, we got to find a Viking, you know, for our, our weapon station here. So let's get that done and then kind of keep going a little bit more on the base quest. But at some point here, probably the next one or two episodes, we will uh, get back onto some of the main quest lines and uh, do those. Because what I want to do is I want to I want to I want to start following the Atlas path a little bit more and you know start working on some of the main quests too. So. That's the plan stand for what's coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave comments and share out the video. All those things help the channel, and I do appreciate it. And we will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.